Photosynthesis may be the most important biochemical reaction of Earth. As sunlight shines down on the forest, the sunlight is being absorbed and the energy from the sunlight is being transformed into chemical energy. That chemical energy is then distributed to all other living organisms in the ecosystem. To survive, ecosystems need a constant influx of energy. Energy enters ecosystem in the form of sunlight or chemical compounds. Some organisms use this energy to make food. Other organisms get energy by eating the food. Producers are organisms that produce food for themselves and other organisms. They use energy and simple inorganic molecules to make organic compounds. The stability of producers is vital to ecosystem because all organisms need organic molecules. Producers are also called autotrophs. There are two basic types of autotrophs, photoautotrophs and chemoautotrophs. Photoautotrophs use energy from sunlight to make food by photosynthesis. They include plants, algae and certain bacteria. Chemoautotrophs use energy from chemical compounds to make food by chemosynthesis. They include some bacteria and also archaea. Archaea are microorganisms that resemble bacteria. Consumers are organisms that depend on other organisms for food. They take in organic molecules by essentially eating other living things. They include all animals and fungi. Fungi don't really eat, they absorb nutrients from other organisms. They also include many bacteria and even a few plants such as the pitcher plant. Consumers are also called heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are classified by what they eat. Herbivores consume producers such as plants or algae. They are a necessary link between producers and other consumers. Examples include deer, rabbits and mice. Carnivores consume animals. Examples include lions, polar bears, hawks, frogs, salmon and spiders. Carnivores that are unable to digest plants and must eat only animals are called obligate carnivores. Other carnivores can digest plants but do not commonly eat them. Omnivores consume both plants and animals. They include humans, pigs, brown bears, gulls, crows and some species of fish. When organisms die, they leave behind energy and matter in their remains. Decomposers break down the remains and other waste and release simple inorganic molecules back to the environment. Producers can then use the molecules to make new organic compounds. The stability of decomposers is essential to every ecosystem. Decomposers are classified by the type of organic matter they break down. Scavengers consume the soft tissues of dead animals. Examples of scavengers include vultures, raccoons and blowflies. Detritivores consume detritus, the dead leaves, animal feces, and other organic debris that collects on the soil or at the bottom of a body of water. On land, detritivores include earthworms, millipedes, and dung beetles. In water, detritivores include bottom feeder such as sea cucumber and catfish. Saprotrophs are the final step in decomposition. They feed on any remaining organic matter that is left after any decomposers do their work. Saprotrophs include fungi, bacteria and single-celled protozoa. Fungi are the only organism that can decompose wood.